Scientists are examining the distant exoplanet Proxima b for signs of life, with the assistance of the brand new and highly capable James Webb Space Telescope. These lights could provide the final incontrovertible evidence that the planet is populated by alien species. Our galaxy has more than a quadrillion planets. Therefore, there's a possibility that a moon or a planet in space has life. In other words, advanced alien species may inhabit this planet. People have been searching for alien life for a very long time. Recently though, one of the largest and closest planets to Earth was discovered. This could be the answer to all of our mysteries. All of these issues will be resolved by the James Webb Space Telescope. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, we'll be looking at the James Webb Space Telescope's terrifying discovery of the City of Lights. Yeah, you heard it right. So, let's start our video. Exoplanet definition is the first step in understanding Proxima b. Planets outside of our solar system are known as exoplanets. These planets are now exceedingly enigmatic and move in an erratic manner. Before James Webb, there was no powerful telescope accessible for astronomers to employ in their hunt. They had no choice but to utilize many techniques, including transit photometry and Doppler spectroscopy. Proxima b is one of the nearest exoplanets to Earth, 4.24 light years separated from Earth. Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system, orbits Proxima b, the Sun. According to scientists, Proxima b, which was identified in 2016, lies on its sun's habitable zone. These exoplanets, including Proxima b, may now be hiding alien life due to the difficulty of locating them. However, what distinguishes this exoplanet from the billions of other planets? Artificial light is the culprit. Proxima b emits artificial light rays. These lights astonish the scientists, who began to speculate that there may be life on the planet's dark side and that this species may be technologically superior to our own civilization. How will they examine the exoplanet that is so difficult to identify and so far from the Sun? Yes, most of you are aware of the James Webb Space Telescope, which makes this possible. However, here's an introduction, the world's largest and most powerful space telescope. The fundamental advantages of these telescopes is their capacity to see through dust clouds. The large mirrors with gold coatings on which the telescope operates will reflect infrared rays, creating an inconceivable image. Proxima b will be one of the first exoplanets the JWST will target in its search for habitable planets. However, it must be similar to Earth for life to exist elsewhere. In order to explore the remarkable properties of Proxima b, compare it to the Earth. Proxima b is 1.27 times the size of Earth. The distance between Proxima b and its sun is 4,600,000,000 miles compared to the 93 million miles between our sun and their sun. As a result, it is 5% further from the sun. Given that Proxima Centauri is 4,000 times fainter than the sun, do experts now believe that Proxima might support life? According to scientists, Proxima b's habitable zone allows for the existence of liquid water on its surface. Proxima is presently 4.24 light years away from Earth. Although it may appear distant from Earth, space is actually rather close. Proxima b is tidally locked and moving synchronously, which signifies the end of an 11-day cycle that lasts one day. Simply put, one side of Proxima b is always illuminated and the other side is always entirely dark. The motion resembles the appearance of the moon of Earth. You may now realize what an excellent exoplanet it is for the quest of extraterrestrial life. What research is being undertaken to determine whether or not there are aliens at Proxima b? The first is that scientists are exerting great effort to detect any artificial light emanating from the surface of Proxima b. Avi Loeb, an astronomer at Harvard University, is one of them. Loeb asserts that both the brilliant and dark sides of Proxima b may be illuminated by artificial light using the James Webb Space Telescope. Scientists will compute the light curves of the planet, beginning with the dark side. A highly intelligent civilization that has existed in the dark since its inception would likely have adapted to it. As there are numerous organisms on Earth they can see in the darkness, in the future they may become commonplace animals on Earth. This is the only thought I can think of when we consider artificial illumination. Another issue is that the bright side of Proxima b is exposed to a great deal of X and UV radiation. Thus, the probability of habitability decreases considerably. On the other hand, the probability that there is life there increases. One of the primary objectives of the SETI organization, which searches for extraterrestrial intelligence, is to make discoveries. We are searching for transmission from around 20,000 red dwarf stars. The search utilizes yet another effective telescope, the Allen Telescope. Due to yet another dramatic twist, Proxima b is currently at the forefront of their minds. In previous years, an unusual radio signal emanating from the Proxima b was discovered. Despite how bizarre it may sound, the Parkes Radio Telescope in Sydney, Australia received the signal. Approximately 30 hours elapsed before the transmission ceased. Each time they turned the antenna away from Proxima Centauri, the signal was lost. This odd and peculiar signal is the reason why everyone is so interested in Proxima b. Why shouldn't they be? It is the first time an unusual, unexplained signal has been transmitted to Earth. It is essentially to study Proxima b as an exoplanet. 
they will therefore dispatch a nanocraft to investigate. I'm so sorry, but with current technology, no astronaut will ever travel that far. The initiative is known as the Revolutionary Starship Project. It is a $100 million initiative to deploy a nanotechnology-equipped spacecraft to the Proxima B system. A conventional nanocraft, on the other hand, would have taken considerably longer to arrive. Nevertheless, because they'll be projecting it with extraordinarily fast lasers, you'll move at a speed that is approximately 20% of the speed of light. In terms of velocity, this would be a completely human creation. Therefore, instead of thousands of years, it will take only two centuries to arrive. The discovery of planets like Kepler-452b and Kepler-186f, and others among the quadrillions of objects in our galaxy, demonstrates the existence of Earth-like planets that are habitable. Approximately 22% of the stars in our galaxy are predicted to have the same size as the Sun. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates. And until then, stay tuned.